It's the Esco Let's Go Show. KJ's in the house. What's up, KJ? What's up? What's up is Diddy. Did he do it? Well, Homeland Security thinks he did something, KJ. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yes, you know, he was raided Monday. Two of his houses, one in Miami, uh, the other one in Los Angeles. Uh, the, he was raided. Now, what exactly was Homeland Security looking for? Well, they were searching for documents, phones, computers, and other electronic devices that hold data or videos. According to CNN, these searches were all related to an ongoing sex trafficking investigation. Now, we know his sons, Justin and King, we saw them on video, uh, placed in handcuffs and detained. They were later released, and uh, TMZ reports that they went back to the L.A. home uh, to grab all their stuff, and they got the hell out of there, KJ. Oh, I would have did the same thing. <laughs> For real. Now, everyone wants to know, where is Diddy? There's a lot of rumors flying around saying, he's on the run, he's on the run. Well, uh, apparently he wasn't on the run. Combs, Sean Diddy Combs, was in Florida at the time of the raid. According to NBC News, and officials reportedly seized his phones before he was scheduled to leave for a trip to the Caribbean. That's why we saw that video of him just walking around looking all stressed out with no phones, KJ. Oh, yeah. <laughs> no phones. Now, TMZ says that Diddy had no clue that he was getting raided. He wasn't on the run. As a matter of fact, at this airport in Miami... He was getting ready to go on spring break with his kids, a couple of them who are uh, still in high school. That's when the cops rolled up on him. Now, one of his other jets was spotted somewhere else. Uh, he wasn't on that jet, so he wasn't on the run. He was in Miami uh, getting ready to leave, though. He was ready to leave uh, on spring break with his family. But the Fed said, hold up, where are you going? <laughs> but that's not all. Apparently, at this same airport, Diddy's alleged drug mule was arrested. Around the same time that the raids were going down, a 25-year-old man by the name of Brendan Paul was arrested Monday on cocaine and marijuana possession charges at the same airport as Diddy. Uh, police say they were working alongside Homeland Security agents when the arrest was made. Brendan Paul was recently named in a lawsuit filed by music producer Rodney Lil Rod Jones against Combs, and Jones accused Paul of being Combs' mule allegedly acquiring and distributing Mr. Combs' drugs and guns. Lil Rod Jones claims he witnessed Paul acquire and distribute drugs to Combs and his associates. Members of the Enterprise and their associates procured, transported, and distributed ecstasy, cocaine, GHB, ketamine, marijuana, mushrooms, and Tusi by packing these substances in their carry-on luggage and going through TSA. Oh, this is getting way worse, KJ. <laughs> this is getting way so worse. Bad. This is getting way worse. Uh, Tusi, by the way, if you don't know what that is, that's uh, known as pink cocaine. It is a powder mix of ketamine, MDMA, and caffeine. So, jeez, what is going on at, at these houses? Allegedly, KJ. A little too much. A little too much. <laughs> a little too see much. Right. <laughs> <laughs> the drugs and stuff, that also uh, makes sense why Rolling Stone reported that Four Jane Doe's and one John Doe already sat for interviews with the Southern District of New York investigators for an investigation related to uh, what we know, the alleged sex trafficking. But they also say a RICO case. And if you think about like the four Jane Doe's, Diddy was sued by four women and the one John Doe, he was sued by uh, little Rod Jones, KJ. So we kind of know who 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 they <laughs> who they interviewed, right? Right. <laughs> Allegedly. <laughs> This is the people. We don't know for sure, but I'm just taking a wild guess. Uh, somebody else that was named in Lil Rod's lawsuit, Prince Harry, got name dropped in Rodney Lil Rod Jones' court documents that were filed last month. According to page six, uh, the document said that guests were drawn to Diddy's alleged sex trafficking parties due to the rapper's access to celebrities such as famous athletes, political figures, artists, musicians, and international dignitaries like British royal Prince Harry. Now, Prince Harry is not a defendant, nor has he been accused of criminality, but he is named in this lawsuit, which is wild. Another familiar name that was uh, found in this lawsuit by uh, Lil Rod, Cuba Gooding Jr., Producer Lil Rod has added Cuba Gooding Jr. to his sexual assault lawsuit against Diddy, claiming the actor aggressively fondled him, the Daily Beast reports. Man. Oh, Lil Rod taking everybody down, KJ. <laughs> he is. He's coming for everybody. 
And obviously Diddy is feeling the heat because check this out. Uh, TMZ reports that Diddy sold off all his Revolt TV shares to an anonymous buyer. Now we know he already paid Cassie a boatload of money. And then he's got these four other lawsuits. And now it looks like he's going to have to defend himself in some sort of criminal case. Right, KJ? So he's got to get money. Somehow, some way, And lawyer up because this isn't looking good, KJ. Wouldn't you say? It ain't looking good at all. Diddy is done. Diddy is done. <laughs> Diddy is done, man. And according to Rolling Stone, they talked to a former federal prosecutor who said the Southern District of New York is one of the most prestigious in the country. If they're bringing a case against him, Diddy has a lot to worry about. He is in a world of hurt right now. So we said it a long time ago when that... Uh, First Cassie lawsuit came out, KJ, we're like, yo, this has got to be only the beginning because everybody's going to start coming out. But we didn't know it was going to lead to this, you know? Sex trafficking, a RICO case, homes getting raided, kids getting put in handcuffs. I mean, what's going to happen next? I'm scared to find out, man. (laughs) Anything could happen next, dude. Hey, thanks for listening to Celebrity Nonsense with me, Esco Let's Go. Make sure you follow my podcast, at Esco Let's Go. That's E-S-K-O-L-E-T-S-G-O. Also, subscribe to my YouTube channel. It's the same, E-S-K-O-L-E-T-S-G-O, all one word. Thanks for listening.